friends and metalheads, welcome back to Metalholic YouTube channel, this is Alex and today we are going to review a single that is long long overdue here on the channel. For those who don't know it, I was supposed to review this single last week. However, the man behind the camera, my brother, got the COVID and I was completely unable to record the video giving you my intake on the song. But finally, we are about to review Midnight Sun. The latest single from the legendary thrash metal band creator that will feature on their 15th album Hate Uba Alice that will be out June 10th through Nuclear Blast Belief. Now, the song spawned a lot of controversy because it is not quite the aggressive song that we are, list, uh, that we are accustomed to listening from creator and it features the participation of a fellow German pop star Sophia Portanet doing guest vocals. And for that reason, it spawned quite the controversy. What I have to say about it is, Creator is one of the bands that helped create and define thrash metal as it is. Their album Pleasure to Kill is right up there with albums like Rain in Blood from Slayer or Master of Puppets from Metallica. They are about to release their 15th 15th album on June 10th. So what they needed to do, what they needed to prove, they've done it well, they've proved it well. What Creator is doing right now is experimenting, finding new ways of making metal sound good while not forfeiting their roots, while staying true to themselves. They are experimenting with new sounds, with new textures, and with a female voice, as this is the first time they are doing so. So what Creator needed to do, they've done it well. What Creator needed to prove, they've proven it. They've proved it, and this is just the right time for them to start experimenting, to start trying different uh, approaches, different intakes on metal, because, let's face it, 15 albums, 40 years of career, Creator is probably not gonna last that much long. They are reaching the sunset of their legendary career. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing because it's gonna be a sad day seeing how much influence they have on the thrash metal specter of metal. But with 15 albums released, lots of singles released, with a 40 year career under pockets, Creator have done pretty much everything they needed and they will probably ride into the sunset in a few years. So this is just the right time for Creator to experiment, this is just the right time for Creator to do what they've always wanted to do but they couldn't do for some reasons because they still felt the need to prove themselves and to obey to the patterns and to the elitism of metal but they, right now they are doing it and they are doing it well. So nice job by Creator on the single. A very out of the box move to include Sophia Portanet as guest vocalist, but it just did the song justice. And without further ado, let's hear the latest single from Creator, Midnight Sun, from the upcoming album 8 Huba Alice with Sophia Portanet. Now, there, there is quite a lot to unpack about Creator's Midnight Sun, but I'm going to address the controversy right away. Yes, Midnight Sun is a lot less thrashy 
Midnight Sun is a lot more groovy, but that doesn't mean that the song is bad. Think about it. In order to have the, the powerful sound that we crave for in metal, we gotta have the pounding drums, the barrage of riffs, the groovy bass and the clean powerful voices or those out of the throat good rolls if you want to dive into more extreme subgenres. But in order for metal to stand out, in order for metal to be really good, you also have to have something that can captivate you. You also have to have something that uh, can ring in your head for days, for weeks, for months. And in this case, that something is Sophia Portanet's voice. You see, Sophia has the kind of voice that is powerful, but Sophia has a voice that not only is powerful, but can fit all registers and all genres. Sophia's voice can make her dive in, from pop into metal in the blink of an eye. And that's why creators struck gold when they got her to collaborate on Midnight Sun. Because her voice, alongside all the reverbs and the echoes they put on her, really conveys the eeriness, the nightmarish feel that Midnight Sun needs to have because it is not a joyful song, it is not an uplifting song, it is a very cult leader-like song in all its essence, and Sophia Portanet's voice really conveys that feeling that Midnight Sun needs to have. So yeah, it is a lot less thrashy, it is a lot more groovy, but it has something that stands out, it has something that rings in your head for days, and when it comes to that, it is one of the greatest songs creator has ever done, and I believe when they ride off into the sunset a few years from now, it will be one of their most recognizable songs and it will be one of those songs that people will really praise the most. Because when it comes to metal, there's one thing that I always say when it comes to metal and when I come across songs like these that are a little less aggressive but more groovy. And when I see that those songs spark controversy. You don't know what you have until it's gone. And this is the kind of song that exemplifies that. We don't know how good Midnight Sun is until Creator rides up into the sunset, wrapping up their career, and we realize that they won't perform that song again from us, for us. That's when we are going to realize that Midnight Sun is really good, that Midnight Sun has something special, something different, but right now, everyone's just a bit, of, a bit of an elitist, right? Everyone likes to bash on the song because it is not aggressive. Everyone likes to say bad things about the song, to speak badly of it, because it is not like Hate Uba Alice. It is certainly not like Strongest of the Strong. But I believe this will be one of Creator's greatest songs when the band rides off into the sunset. But once more, we are not ready to acknowledge that, are we? We all prefer to be helitists because we really don't appreciate what the bands are doing for us sometimes. Now, the other thing that makes Midnight Sun stand out, in my opinion, is not only Sophia Portanet's contribution and collaboration, is not only Mila's voice and Sophia's voice coming together to form a perfect combo, but it is also the video. And my friends, if you love horror, if you love gore, if you love blood, there are plenty of references in those films for you to watch. But it seems like Sophia is having some kind of a dream, then she wakes up and sees that chainsaw placed above the tree, realizes there's a cult going on, and goes on to stop that cult. Then she emerges into the water, sees the whole process, gets caught in the middle of it, but in an interesting plot twist, ends up becoming the alpha male. Slaying, killing and assassinating everyone that had taken part of that cult. Now in my head, when I listened to the song for the first time and when I acknowledged Sophia's voice in that creepy ambience, I had already imagined a concept where there was a collective sacrifice to a god, to the devil, to an unknown deity, if you will, 
but it was when I got the opportunity to listen to the song and to watch the video at the same time that I realized how well those two concepts fit. Both the horror references and the cult-like concept fit together so well that the song is like a really unique, a really eerie, creepy listening experience that it's just addicting. Midnight Sun is the type of song that rings in your head for days, for weeks, for months and I speak for myself because ever since it was released I listen to it at least twice a day. It has been ringing in my head since May the 6th and I somehow cannot stop listening to it. It is truly an addictive song, something different than Creator has ever done before but truly a very interesting song, a very addictive one, if you will. Now, the other thing that somehow captivates me is the lyrics. Now, there's the chorus when Mila sings Would you kill for May? Would you die for May? Would you join me under Midnight Sun? Or the last part, would you kill for May? Forget the ones that you have failed. Now, everyone knows we are in the middle of a war. A war that seems to have no end between Russia and Ukraine. And it seems like Russia's president Vladimir Putin is looking at everything to win that war. Is sacrificing everything and everyone in order to come on top. So it seems like what he says to his soldiers in order to achieve that goal of winning the war and of coming on top is would you kill for me? Would you die for me? Would you be willing to give your life for the country that you defend? Forget the horrors of the past, forget all the defeats, all the blood that was shed, all the lives that ended up coming as a cost for the war. Forget about everything that's happened in the past. This is a whole new universe, a whole new dimension. Now, would you kill for your country? Would you die for your country and for me personally as your head of state? Would you kill for me? Would you die for me? Would you join me under Midnight Sun? And that's really an interesting comparison that you can make because it seems like a lot of lyrics fit the war topic recently. I don't know if that's because this war is something unprecedented, something like we have never seen since 1945 when the Second World War ended. I don't know if it is because that war is touching all of us emotionally at some sort, on some level, but it seems like a lot of lyrics can be fit into the top of this war that we are experiencing and it seems like Creator has no, is no exception. It seems like Creator has really crafted a song that may not be meant to fit the war topic, but somehow ends up fitting right into that. And that is interesting. That is, that is a particular trait of the song that I felt that I needed to highlight. But all in all, Midnight Sun is a very interesting song very different from Creator had done before, from what Creator had done before, better said, but a very interesting song, a change in pace for Creator. As I said, it is controversial, it may not please everyone, but when Creator rides off into the sunset once again, I will say it, it will be one of their most celebrated songs, and kudos for them to, for experimenting and for including Sofia Portanet to really provide something different to Midnight Sun. And that's it guys, let's call it a day for today. Remember to like, to comment and to share the video with your friends and your family. Also subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss on anything that Metalholic has to bring you on the foreseeable future. Remember, hate Huba Alles, the 15th album from the German thrash metal band creator out on June 10th through Nuclear Blast Believe. Don't miss it. This was Alex. This was Metalholic. Hail Metal.